Hello everyone, my name is Ivan Ratijan and today we're going to play a game called Kingdoms at War. So this is a game where I've been playing for most of my time before and it's a really 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 fun game and which I really really enjoy. So this game is a game developed by a Canadian company named A Thinking Ape and it's really cool. I believe that this game is much better than the other games that they have produced so far and it became one of my favorite so in this video it's gonna be showing you guys about the uh, more into the advanced guides on how to play the game like what's this game all about and everything and stuff but um, before I start explaining stuff of what's in this game I will link in the description down below of a video explained by Simone Michelle of the of the guides beginner guides of Kingdom Fat War because she explains it extremely extremely well and probably better than what I'm going to say to you guys. So this is more of an advanced guide. I'm not going to be telling you guys much or or explaining you all the beginners guides of this game i'm just gonna get to the point so far so once you log into the game you will create an account and you name yourself and in this case currently my name will be rolex but soon i'm going to change my name into ivan ratijan because this name i've been using for quite a long long time and i would like to change it so first of all i'm going to show you the top screen here these are the settings bar on top which can you can see your accounts and you can link your account to your Facebook and ATA account because since this is an A Thinking Ape game, therefore this is an ATA account that you can sign up. So these are my emails, these are my Facebook which has been linked and my device has been linked into my phone which is this one, my Samsung 9. And above here on the right side, these are the friends list that you can see on the on the sites for example people can wall you and stuff these are my first the first ever that people wall me when I first started the game there's like Saul, Sylph, uh, one of the top global players and some other people like Weez, there's also Simone, Rupert, Marquis Silv again and some Ice Pal and some other people in this game so this game is Pretty unique because you can wall people like telling them like ask questions and stuff you can also follow them and be follow them to chat but in order for you to chat privately to the people you the the people need to follow you back so before that so if the people doesn't follow you back you can wall them asking them questions and stuff so once they followed you you became friends with these people and all that stuff and then you have inbox which people talk to you and there's upcoming stuff called gifting which will come soon which I don't know what's this about yet but it, it will come soon in the end so yeah this is the more of a friendless type of stuff where you communicate with people in the game these are events rewards where you will compete not compete but you will play an event in the game and it will give you rewards and you can claim it afterwards so these are the examples of rewards that you can get like crystals boxes and stuff these are my history rewards that I have claimed before so yeah and the next thing these are the history chat uh, not the chat locks but a uh, battle locks that you can do like when you can join a clan in epic battles where you fight epic battles these are the battles where you fight against people. You can also battle against other people, attack them, steal their gold and everything, and also um, scout their builds and assassinate their troops, spies. These are the allies. You can also hire allies in your in the game, like here. So, so these are the, so above here are my gold. When you attack epic battles, you gain gold here. But before you be able to attack epic battles, you need to join a clan. You need to find a clan 
anywhere and currently my clan is brutal by club it is the current uh, I think rank 46 uh, clan in the leaderboard right now yeah rank uh, 46 currently yeah there you go rank 46 um, clan in the leaderboard in which became I became a family oh it's my home clan right now so yeah you join a clan you attack epic battles and you gain gold you can also attack other players which can gain gold but it's it is not recommended yet to do so because it's going to create uh, more enemies they're going, they're going to attack you back and you will lose gold so it's better to attack epic battles uh, right now and so once you attack epic battles you gain gold for example here i have 50 trillion 50 yeah 50 trillion gold you can hire allies like this so these are my allies currently in the game where you can see these are my allies and they have this uh, attack power attack defense and attack and spy attack and spy defense which can help you increase your personal power so hiring allies can get you more gold more plunder is, is that what you call it when you attack epic battles you can you will gain more gold if you hire a uh, higher Hire good allies, hire a bigger, more expensive allies, you will get more plunder. And the power, it will comes, it will gain benefit towards you as well. So that's about allies. So, and the next thing I want to talk to you about on, on the left side is the quest here. This is not going to be much. When you're starting playing the game, you can probably do some quests uh, that you can do here. Probably some, some quests. It will give you gold like this one. 2700 and as you go on by it will unlock more quests more and more and more and the last one is this one enemies gate which gives you about 6.842 million gold and that's about quests these are the rewards that these are the events rewards logged then you will be able to see so these are the events that the game is going to give you. It will give you rewards, crystals, which can uh, replenish your attack troops and spy attack troops so you, that you can attack the epic battles to gain more gold. And these eventually events will give you more gold, more plates, shards, which can benefit you in creating a high level buildings. So, and uh, yeah. So I'm going to talk to you more about into buildings here. There's this kingdoms right here. There is, I'm going to show you the very bottom one. These are my current uh, build. I might change it soon. But yeah, these are my current lowland builds. So there's going to be lowlands, highlands, Hoarfrost. I think this is an abyssal lands type of thing. Or yeah, I think abyss. And this is Osmon Rai. This is Deep Mine. These are Fate Sand and this is Paluman, which is the last building in the game. So my build is more into heavy on spies instead of attack. So I'm more into spice, spice, and spice, except for the lowlands because I created that more balance into attack, so that I can join wars, lowland wars. So these are my kingdom builds, and you can actually upgrade this using gold. And on the left side here, as you can see, there's the number eight. Those are uh, crest plates, or yeah, crest plates. So once you attack an, a certain epic battles in the game, you will gain shards, and those shards will combine themselves into crest plates. And once you get enough crest plates, you can upgrade your building here instead of spending gold. So there's the two alternative way you can upgrade a building, which using gold or crest plates, which is really nice instead of attacking epic battles and spending gold. And so yeah, there's also much stuff that you can check around and learn. There's also wars in the game, which is really really nice and just interesting. These are the 
current leaderboards, overall leaderboards of the top players of the top best players overall in the game. These are the battles, how many times you attack an epic battle or a person, it will count towards your winnings. These are allies, the most best allies that people hire. Well, I mean the the most amount of allies that a person hires or the best allies combined that a person hires which is Whis currently and Sylph in the second these are the most valuable allies in the game or what you call it the most expensive person in the game that you can hire so basically there's cost in this game where when you hire someone it will get more expensive and then th that person can hire your allies and it gets more expensive and more expensive and more expensive and Ashjar Pal currently today is the most expensive one with 79 quadrillion gold hired by Cloudberry with vanilla ice cream so yeah that's pretty much about it and if you want to learn more about this game there's also helping and guiding tools in the game which is called the forums here there's also lots of stuff in the forums that you can read and stuff it will help you through the game, basically making you understanding more about the game, more advanced about the game, and it basically it will just help you through it all. I would recommend you to go to the strategy or the guides section here, mostly on the guides, so you can learn about buildings, lands, cross plates, cost lands, buildings, events, wars, and everything so are all in the form, so it will be helpful towards you in the future. And yeah, and once again, I will link in the description down below on my YouTube where there's a video called Simone Michelle, a video created by Simone Michelle, which explain everything of the beginner's guide of kingdoms at war 2021. And for my next video soon, I will show you my attack, attacking epic battles and farming crest plates so that I you can get a really high level amount of buildings for example like a paluman plate which is really really good because once you get to a high level building upgrading by plates you can sell your buildings and gain extremely high level of gold to unlock lands and buy allies so yeah and one more and yeah that's pretty much about it i guess other than stuff those are just the picture in the middle here are just one of the epic battles that I currently play with my clan. It's called Nadra of the of the something, I guess, of the H of the heart or something. It's in or abbreviation of N O T H Noth, which gives you Paluman plates, which will gain you the highest level amount of building at the end of the lands of the last land which is Paluman plates so yeah that's pretty much about it in the in my next video i will explain to you more about events and probably epic battles and wars so thank you guys for thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys soon bye bye